All right, guys, so Hardware 4 leaks are starting to pick up again. However, this time it's not going to be one of those leaks. And this time it's coming directly from the FCC. And this seems to be the request from Tesla to the FCC asking them to delay the announcement because they don't want unfair competition and they don't want their sales number to drop because of people who are waiting. But it seems that day is now over and the FCC released a whole document of the new product from Tesla. And this has to do especially with the radar system. I'm sure if Eventually, they're going to provide much more details on hardware 4, but this time around, just the hardware, so we're going to talk specifically on that. Now, my previous video, I talked about how Green provided us a lot of details and a clear look at, at the new FSD computer board, and that gives us a lot of thought of how the system was going to be designed and where the new camera placements are going to be, the number of camera, the new radar, and a bunch of other new things, so we really got to thank him for that. Now, if you guys want to check that video out, I'll drop a link right up top there and the description below, but I talked about the overall uh, aspect of the board and the new camera placements and where is the best spot that it's going to be on the vehicle itself when it does arrive. So overall, really big upgrade for hardware 4 here. But let's go ahead and dive on into the new radar that's been leaked or supposedly leaked by the FCC. All right, so Tesla dubs this the Phoenix radar just because it sounds cool, I guess. It's going to be different than the previous radar and older cars, which Tesla pretty much sacked because it provided too much noise. This one is going to be a lot more high definition according to Elon because the only way they're going to put radar back into vehicles is if it's high definition enough hopefully this is going to remove a lot of the phantom braking that was happening previously and maybe this is going to be high definition enough that tesla is going to be using it alongside tesla vision which i've talked about in previous videos as well if you guys want to check it out also in the description below it's going to be used alongside tesla vision to work with the removal of ultrasonic sensors so real live parking assist is going to require the hardware to be there which is going to be the new radar to give us enough information about live objects going into the blind spots when the car is shut off and turned back on again but yeah all of this about the occupancy network and the radar and everything i'll drop it in the description below again i talked a lot about hardware 4 and what is required to make this whole system work and pretty much if it was my choice i do the placements myself and think what's logical enough for future uh, software iterations to work but i'm not smart enough and i'm not able to do all that so i'll leave it up to the pros but let's talk more about this radar now and uh, the images we've seen online all right so the first picture here is the top down view and we see the dimensions we see the overall look of it and you're not going to be able to confuse this with any other radar because it has tesla written right on top of it it looks just like any other standard radar is what's underneath the hood that makes a difference but before we get inside of it let's take a look at the side view here just to give you guys an overall dimension and thickness of it at the back here you also see a brand new heat sink i'm not sure how different it is from previous uh, versions of the radar but at this moment it looks pretty bulky which means a lot of air is going to be circulating through it which is great to be honest because you don't want to hear buzzing and humming like some of the other vehicles out there with radar system i have a honda that clicks and buzzes every time it opens a connector and it has a cooling fan which is a little bit ridiculous because passively cooled is more than enough all right now let's take a look in inside of it this seems like a pretty typical board with a programmable chip right here from zinc now the other part of this board is going to be the new antennas if you guys take a look here there's at least four new antennas i guess this is going to be used for the high definition aspect of it the more data is able to grab in the more clarity it's going to get and the more useful it's going to be for things like object detection now a lot of you guys are asking whether this is going to be retrofitable or not and what it's going to be like in the future for older vehicles it does not seem like it's going to be retrofitable because the different wiring harnesses that are needed for the full self-driving computer the hardware 4 version of the computer is going to have different ports different connectors and it's going to use one of these connectors right here for the radar which isn't available on your cars right now if you do own one now if you guys have a car from 2023 and onwards i don't really know at this point we're still pretty much in the dark about if it's going to be retrofitable or at least plug and play my thought is that the wiring harnesses are already there and now all these new units as they come off the line is going to be a plug and play essentially for those vehicles but honestly we really don't know at this moment and there is a chance a really high chance that your car is going to be one of those vehicles that do not have ultrasonic sensors as well as any of the future versions of hardware so if that's the case unfortunately there's nothing you really can do and you're just gonna have to rely on tesla vision the software based version that's going to be coming out anyways all right so with all that said and done this is pretty much a sure thing now that the fcc has revealed this new radar and we've had a first look at the new hardware for computers 
Wars. Tesla at this point is just a waiting game for them because they really do want to perfect it before they put it into vehicles or they might have already put it into vehicles and we don't really know yet. Not a lot of you guys have opened up your vehicles to take a look at the computer or take a look at any of the harnesses. Now I guess there's one thing that you guys can do to check out if your car is compatible or it already has it is that you guys can open a bumper and see if there's an open connector uh, now based upon these new wiring harnesses. Take a look if it's compatible, if it fits or not. But in the end, it's Tesla's best interest to get everybody on the same software. And if it requires the hardware to do so, they definitely will be putting it on your vehicles. Now, as always, I recommend you guys to hold off on your orders or take delivery a little bit later. Put it on hold because a new version of the hardware is coming out and you really don't want to be left behind when new software is coming out and your car is not capable of handling it. So yeah, it shouldn't be much longer before we start seeing Model 3s and Model Ys with hardware 4s just because now that we have the indication that the newer versions are going to be coming out the sales number are going to drop for sure because people are essentially just holding off instead of picking up the delivery now so this is going to greatly affect their numbers and in the end the number is what is important and to tesla they really want to get all vehicles out there and sold as soon as possible so I guess all this sums up is that we are going to get hardware for a very soon. If not in the next month or so, we're going to see it by the summer 100% in my view. So hold out and you guys will get the best product. A little bit of patience will really go a long way. So anyways, guys, this should wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, you know what to do. This is John once again. Peace out.